All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and glory to you. How about Shema Abishai, by Shema Kakodash, the bonus of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all that I came out of pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. I just wanted to, um, you know, chime in on this this article that was published on this, this site of Blacklisted News. You know, a pretty good article where it speaks about how Apple is destroying the planet to maximize profits. Um... And this is the nature of Esau, man. You know, this this uh, website is a is a pretty good website in, in reference to um, all the diabolical schemes that Esau has um, put out. And I do a lot of lessons pertaining to uh, this website, you know. Um, and Esau, you know, he does everything in the name of profit, you know, to generate generate more revenue through resources, you know. Through the spirit, I was looking at um the uh, resource map. And I was looking at the resources all over the world, and you know Esau is, is pursuing the Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and you see how he's uh, occupying all these different parts and continents of the world to uh, steal their resources. You know whether it's crude oil, whether it's petroleum, you know whether it's um, diamonds, golds. You know, whatever resource that might be on that land, Esau, it goes in those lands and destroy it. And then he, he takes everything to the home base, which is America, you know, in different parts of Europe, of course. And they uh, build their tech industry. They build their science, science um, industry. They build the military. The list goes on and on. And in turn, when they build these things, it's, it's still backfiring. You know, it's backfiring and it's destroying, like this article has, is destroying, which the word D is to take away from the structure. D is to take away and destroy is, goes back to the word structure. You know, it's taking away the structure and the layout of, of the planet as we know it, just in the name of making no revenue. So I'm going to jump straight into it. It says, stripping the planet to maximize profit isn't progressive or renewable it's just exploitive and destructive how do we describe the finding that the planet's most widely owned super corporation is destroying the planet to maximize its smartphone sales and profits shall we start with inconvenient yes we're talking about apple famous for coercing customers to upgrade their apple phones and other gadgets if not annually then every couple of years as the most effective way to maximize profits, right? And this is a, this is, Apple is a demonic, you know, wicked ass, nefarious uh, uh, corporation. You know, mind you, I'm <laughs> using the Apple phone. You know, of course, that's that's what's um, prevalent in modern times. And it, you know, these phones have their certain perks um, to use. But um, everything that this is is correct. You know, we scripture speak about us using the world. But we, we're not invested in this place, man. You know, we have these smart TVs in our households. We have these cell phones. We have these laptops. But we could give a, a, a damn about them, man. We want these companies to, to fall. We want these companies to collapse. Because these companies, their they're marketing, like it says, is, is, is a scheme. They always want you to update. They always want you to upgrade, you know. Even if you want to stay, stay on your old bottle, they force you to stay updated, you know. And what did they do with all these old, um, you know, the, the uh, previous generation, whether it's cell phones or laptops, you know, they, they trash, they, they basically become trash and it's just destroying the world as we know it. You know, it says, unfortunately, smartphones require stripping. Oh, excuse me, strip mining, strip mining the planet as described in this report. And yeah, that's a hell of a word. You know, uh, s smartphones are killing the planet faster than anyone expected. Researchers are sounding the alarm after analysis showed that buying a new smartphone consumes as much energy as using ex an existing phone for an entire decade. And ain't that something, man? You know, because most of these people think just purchasing a phone and these these laptops, they, they have no harm on the world as we know it. You know, it's, it's just a, a little little device in your room, you know, not knowing in the background that the world is, itself is aching, you know. The world itself is, is decaying and, and dilapidating at an alarming rate due to uh, the mass producing 
of these uh, products that, that's constantly coming out. And this is, is just the beginning. You know, the scriptures speak about the beginning of woes, the beginning of, of, of bad times. You know, this 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 white man has all kind of um, devices that they look to come come out with in the near future. Of course, one of the major ones is the chip, which that's going to be extremely hazardous f for your biological, physio physiological makeup in the world as you know it. You know, and um, you know the the was it five G? You know that's gonna that has been proven. You know already through a, a slew of articles and um things of that nature that when that five G technology comes out, it's gonna uh totally eradicate damn near eradicate the world as we know it. And these are just a few items. You know we're not even going into how the military is destroying these different places, bombings, um constant mining like i said for these different uh resources you know uh, um toxins from these major power plants and things of that nature that's constantly fumigating these these car models cars that's constantly coming out is the list goes on and on and on and on that's how you know we're in the end time this is end time prophecy and the, the job of uh, a man of the lord is to project this information uh onto the masses so that uh, we can prepare you know, because it's not like you can you can stop. We're not looking to uh, alleviate smartphone sales and, and restore the conditions of the world. You know, we're at the end. You know, this this man is going to um, he's going to totally implode the society as we know it. And we're pushing him to do it, you know, through the spirit. You know, that's his job. His job is to be death, you know, and he's doing a damn good job at it. And he's pushing it to the brink. Um, of 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 extinction to the point where Yahweh Shah personally is gonna come and yank this man off the throne, and him, uh, I'm saying is Esau. So smartphones are particularly uh insidious for a few reasons, with a two year average life cycle, which that's horrible. They're more or less disposable. The problem is that building a new smartphone and specifically mining the rare materials. Inside them represent 85% to 95% of the device's total CO2 emissions for two years. That, being, that means buying one new phone takes as much energy as recharging and operating a smartphone for an entire decade. And these tech giants, you know, you know, Apple, you know, and the various others, you know, they're... They have a destructive mentality anyways. These Bill Gates, these Steve Jobs, these Mark Zuckerbergs, whether it's, it's social media. Social media itself is destructive. You know, Google it, Google itself. All these different websites that you think are, 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 are not harmful and it's, it's, it's uh, revolutionary and it's great for the community and things of that nature. These same companies are responsible for the, the death of, of, of countries, man. They, like I said, it, it's devastating the social um, prevalence of the society, of societies. You know, the social media um, is making people narcissistic. I'm speaking about Facebook, and for instance, you know, Google. It, first off, they're putting out hella surveillance on you, as well as all this um, misinformation. And then they try to censor out the truth. So and they're run by who? The goddamn devil, you know, through the uh, various Edomite families and these uh, specific factions, you know, because even though the different heads um, of Esau, you know, they all work uh, neck and neck, so to speak. But it says despite the recycling programs run by Apple and other base others based on our research and other sources, currently less than one percent of smartphones are being recycled. Lotfi Belker, the study led author, tells me the research points out that mobile apps actually reinforce our need for these 24 7 servers in a self perpetuating energy hogging cycle. More phones require more servers, and with all this wireless information in the cloud, of course, we're going to buy more phones capable of running even better apps. Google, Facebook, and Apple have all pledges to move to 100% renewable energy in their own operations. Yeah, that's what they say. You know, but Esau doesn't give a hell about renewable energy and, you know, trying to preserve the world as you know it. Here it is. They destroyed the world, and they're pushing you to buy more and consume more 
But now they're trying to be more renewable and they're trying to be conservative. Get the hell out of here, man. And you got jakes that believe that bullshit. They'll go to these Facebook um, seminar meetings, so to speak, where they, they'll uh, present. Uh, well, I'll say Apple. You know, Facebook and these different uh, groups, they all have these different meetings um, where they'll have the projection screen and they'll have a crowd um, that listen to them and they'll speak about the next uh, generation of what they're banking towards. Um, but for instance, you know, Apple will do that. And um, you got a lot of jicks that's parading in the crowd, you know, uh, in, a, in a giant hoopla, you know, because what does the scripture speak about when a, a righteous man speaks? You know, they extol it to the crowd, to the clouds. And uh, when, a, when a poor man speaks, they say, what manner of man is he? But I'm going to continue on. It says, it's, it's encouraging, says Belker, of these early corporate efforts, but I don't think it moved, it'll move the needle at all. Yeah, just like I said. As consumers, we have more reason than ever to hesitate when it comes to our, our next shiny tech splurge. The bottom line is that we need to buy less and engage less for the health of this entire planet. And that's not going to happen. You know, these people aren't going to stop purchasing um, the technology. They're not going to be more conservative. You know, the, the place, this place, as we know it, breeds um, idiots. Just going to be plain and simple. It breeds you to not think uh, conservatively. You know, watching television, when constantly popping all these different images of foolishness in your head. And then you think these people are just going to um, make a screeching halt and start regarding the planet as um, something to, to care and nurture for. When the, their whole lives they've they've been um, living in this abusive base society, the, and and their own whether it's drug they uh the lifestyle is based and centered around abuse whether it's drug abuse, uh, porn abuse, you know uh, abusing um any and everything in their life uh phys they, they've been subject to physical abuse and abusing um whether they're children and things of that nature that's a big thing and you think they're gonna do things to try to uh, preserve the planet for the next generation. People don't think like that nowadays, man. You know, of course you have a few um, individuals that, you know, few organizations that will stand up and go out their way and they get looked down upon, you know. That's why you have to do some of the craziest shit to even be noticed. You had this one individual uh, strapping themselves to concrete, you know, in the middle of a... a a, a operating road to um you know alert individuals for um basically to to be more uh, aware of of the environment one of those environmentalists but like i said you know we're in the end times so people don't give a hell about that that mindset and and this so-called white man is plummeting this place into the ground you know so this is revelations 11 and 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead they should be judged and that thou shouldest give rewards unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name small and great and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth and who is him that destroyed the earth the so-called white man all right revelations the sixth chapter speaks about the uh different horses which i'll get that you know you know and the man that was galloping uh, uh, upon them uh bring uh forth uh, an immense amount of destruction you know, and who who else fits that image? Apple, Google, Facebook. You know, these are uh, companies, but you know, you have um, Ford. You know, all these different automobile, the automobile industry. Like I said, the tech Im industry. Like I said, the armies. These different uh, companies that um, fuel this system by destroying the world. You know, that's why in today's time everything is hazardous onto us. Me looking at this phone recording out of this device is pumping um, signals, you know, and um, negative light throughout my body even using it, you know. But we have to do this for the sake of prophecy, for the sake of uh, the word, you know. But at the end of the day, we understand the uh, the effects of of this toxic this, this toxic world that we live in, and we and that's why we're pushing to get up out of this. This this um demonic simulation because this this is all this place is it's a it's a goddamn simulation man you know you watch uh, movies like The Matrix and you see how 
you know, you basically in a, a AI technology and, you know, you basically be an avatar. Your avatar is, is, is placed there. That's the, that's what we're, we're going through, man. You know, and, and our job is to get up out of this kingdom, man. And, and through the spirit of power, you have by Shema Shai, he's going to free and redeem us from this place. But this is Rob, Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And who was him that's red? The red man, Esau. All right. Edom. The white, which they call themselves white today. And we know there is no such thing as white. There is no people. I haven't seen a white man one day um, in my whole life. As well as even seeing a black man. There's no such thing as these people. All right. So-called white man coined himself as the white man, white because white is the derivative of purity, innocence, and cleanliness. And black is the shadow of death, darkness, and uh, demise, so to speak. But um, this represents Esau. It says, And power was given to him that sat therein to take peace from the earth, and that it, they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Yeah, and these devils are killing one another. You know, when they go to these Arabic lands and they, um, you know, try to get, um, like I said, you know, petroleum or different products to, to get more oil, you know, build their oil reserves to, um, to uh, fuel, whether it's their jet planes or their tanks or, you know, their ships. It's all in the name of war, warfare, warfare, warfare. This man is a warmonger, you know. And, and your presidents, your prime ministers, your leaders, politi po political leaders, mayors, senators, they all push a plan that's governed by the um, elitists, and that's to destroy the, the world, all right? Here in Georgia, you know, we have the plaques, you know, the Georgia Godstones, where it's etched in and engraved in, into the earth. That they should uh, push the population to, to, to a very, very uh, small amount, all right? forget the specific amount i think um reduced population unto i think it's a couple million i forget the the amount you know um 500 million if i'm not mistaken you know so they want to um let's say in in an effort of a putting a perpetual balance with nature you know and we went to the georgia godstones uh, a number of times lord willing through the spirit we go again you know for the uh, new brothers that's in the camp and i'll you know through the spirit i'll make that announcement lord willing will do that again but um yeah, that's just the main point. I wanted to drive this point home, you know, this article. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to jump to verse 8 with this horse also. And I looked and behold, a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death. Yeah, and the so-called white man, another name for him is death, you know, and hell follow him. And hell represents the grave pit or destruction. Because when you follow the ways of Esau, it leads you into a pit, you know. And they have these these artists that promote a very unhealthy lifestyle and they make millions of dollars. They generate hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars annually from just uh, promoting a opium drug criminal based lifestyle that masses of these people follow. And, and you wonder why these kids overdosing nowadays. You wonder why these kids are on all kind of antidepressants and they're, they're um mental function is at an all-time low because um you know death is is raining all right life is at an all-time low and death is at an all-time high and just because your 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 uh, circulation your blood is circulating and you um have the ability to inhale oxygen um and things of that nature you know you have the ability to inhale and exhale that doesn't mean that you're living all right that doesn't mean life is, is coexisting within you. Life is the breath of Yahweh by Shema Shah, and this breath is at a is a, is at a minimum. All right, and you can say, well, what about the you know the Catholic Church, the Christian Church, the, uh, you know these are hundreds of millions of followers? Uh, that's not where the breath is at. All right, that's that's actually uh still part of death because it's nothing but lies and trickery, sorcery, that center, and those are really some of the biggest havens of witchcraft, in, anyways, man. That's some of the worst institutions you could be in, you know, but it says over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with beasts of the earth and hunger. People are starving at an all time high. You could go to websites like the world counts and see how many people are actually without proper uh, water, without proper food. And you see how people are gluttons 
on the uh, other side of the spectrum, man. So this place is done, man. You know, the conditions of this world is um is done. You know, it's on it's uh on a on basically on a respirator, you know, what uh IVs in our arm. That's that's what the world is going through, you know, exhaling nothing but smog, you know, lo looking like looking at the point of death. You know, you can really visually um picture this. You know, that's why you have a shot needs of savior and the scriptures speak about um how this world is crying out. You know, if if the if man is crying, you, you know the earth itself is crying. These trees are constantly falling and being these different um, forests are being burned up. But you know that's just the main thing I had. You know, just wanted to go through in the spirit because we're in the end, man. You know, so I'm gonna end it by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shemayah, Shabbat, Shemakakodash, double honor to the Apostle and the others of Great Millstone, Shalom Amakim.